Uh, it's time for the math. Easy solution here. Discuss further into integrals and volumes and go over example 5 of this uh, of the example series. We'll go over this one which states find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region enclosed by the curves y equals x and y equals x squared about the line y equals 2. Now uh, this region here, this was from example uh, 4 and you could uh, see that in the video link below to get a better idea of this region so yeah now the first thing we should do is just draw this region so draw these two curves y equals x so from the example 4 uh, the equation y equals x looks something like this it's just a straight line that's called x or y equals x and now the x squared is something like like this it goes up like that and this is the y equals x squared and this is the region enclosed by it where at this point right here this is at zero and at this point here this is at x equals to one and you can get this basically that's zero you can get this from when you set these two uh, curves equal to each other so x equals to x squared and this is this is true when x equals zero or one yeah, and we know that uh, when we look at if this is 1 here, this value right here is equal to 1 as well. Just, cause just plug it in. 1 squared is 1, or just 1 inside x is just 1. And now we got to rotate it by uh, yeah, about the line y equals 2. So that's that's 1, so the, that function is right here. I mean, that line is right here. y equals 2. So we'll just draw this out. So yeah, now if we were to rotate this around, so as you can see, if it's like this, you would rotate it perfectly around up somewhere. I'll just get it. Yeah, so this would be at 3. This would be right over at this point right here. Just So we just basically rotate this region about about this um, this line right here. So it's going to look something like like this right here. And then if we draw this out, it's going to be something like that. And at this point, it's going to be like that, just colored in red. As you can see, it gets closer and closer here so that the ends are basically, uh, yeah, they have really no thickness. And now we go, if we draw a random one inside here, at let's call it X or whatever. So now we'll rotate this like that. And then this is going to be, this is going to have a thickness. Uh, we'll call it delta X. Okay, it's going to be something like this. As you can see, it's a disc like this, and now the thickness of this is equal to, well, the thickness of between this uh, this point right here. It's going to look something like like this. And now we got to draw the other end of it. It's going to look something like this. I'm just going to draw a dotted line saying it's on the other side. Yeah, it's just a bit hard to see right now. And now this is the other end of it, like that. So we have this region, um, yeah, this disc inside, and the thickness um, of this disc is the difference between these two curves, and the, and the, well, this thickness right here is the delta x right there. So this is an idea of how the, of basically how when you rotate around, but what the shape looks like. And now if we were to take this, yeah, just to show a better idea of it, we'll just draw it out. So at this random point there, we'll have a disk like this. Uh, yeah, something like like this right here, and then it has a thickness like that. Right here. So it looks something like that. Yeah, so now when we look at this, uh, basically when we draw this out, this height right here from the bottom of this, this is going to be x uh, squared, just like where this looks like this. That's our x squared. And then the above or the inner part is going to be uh, from the distance from the x-axis, this x right here. And now, if we were to draw, I mean, uh, write out the ax, which is this part right here. This is the cross-sectional area, which we'll need for our volume, we'll call it a of x. So a of x, this equals 2, well, yeah, when we look at this right here, this is just going to be uh, the outer area minus the inner area, so we'll write that pi, call this r out, 
squared minus pi r n uh, inner squared. And now this is the outer uh, area and this is the inner area. So we're just basically subtracting this total one minus this region inside. And, and uh, to find out this inner, radi uh, inner radius and outer radius, we draw a line from this uh, y equals 2 line. So then from this distance right here, this is the inner radius, ri, and that equals 2. Well, this is 2 because we know that right here is equal to um, 2. Yeah, because that's where we're rotating it about. So that's 2 minus uh, this x right here. So that's the full length there, and minus this x. So that's the inner. And now the outer curve is uh, basically from this one right here, and that's just going to be, I'll write it over here, this is r out, or r outer, this equals to 2 minus x squared. So now we have these, uh, yes, yeah, so now we have this radius over those two radiuses, and now that cross-section layer is going to be y, uh, pi, this is going to be the outer one. It's going to be uh, 2 minus x squared. Now we square that minus pi, 2 minus x, and all squared. So now if we expand this out, take the pi out, this is going to be 4. Multiply this uh, twice. That's going to be, well, minus 4x squared. Uh, yeah, x to the power of, yeah, squared. And now negative x squared times negative x squared, that's just plus um, x4. And again, now it's going to be a minus right here, 2 times uh, 2, that's just going to be uh, 4. And now we, uh, on now on this one right here, 2 times by negative x plus 2 times negative x, that's it. We're just basically simply uh, expanding this out. That's just going to be negative for x, but there's a negative in here, so that's going to be positive. And now with this right here, negative x times negative x, that's going to be equal to uh, plus uh, x squared, but there's a minus here, so we go minus right there. Now we just cancel uh, like terms, so we cancel this and this, and add up these two right here, so we get pi and now we'll just put this x4 there, x4 is by itself, minus right here, 5x squared, and then there's a plus 4x. So that's the area. And now when we take the volume, the volume, like I showed in my basic earlier videos, the volume is just the integral of this area from, well, it, from the region, so 0 to 1. So our volume of that solid is just going to be equal to from integral from 0 to 1 of a of x dx and now this is equal to 0 1 pi now that's your area right there x4 minus 5x squared plus 4x dx and now we just do basic integration take the pi out this is going to be x5 over 5 this is going to be now 5x3 over 3 now this one right here is going to be basically x squared 4 over 2. Now we just plug in this from 0 to 1. So now we only consider the 1 because when you plug in the 0, all of it just cancels out. So this equals to pi 1 over 5 minus 5 over 3 plus 2. And now we could just add these up. Uh, basically, we want to get uh, the same common denominator, so multiply by. Uh, yeah, everything to get the common denominator of 15. So this equals to pi 1 over 5. That's going to be now 3. Because we multiply by 3 in, on top and bottom. 3 over 15. This one we're going to multiply by 5 on top and bottom. It's 25 over 15. Now this 2, we multiplied by 15. Top and bottom, so 30 over 15. So this equals 2. Add all of these up right here. So 25 plus a uh, negative 25 plus 30. That's just 5 plus 3 is 8 over 15. And there is our answer. This is the volume of the solid, which is formed by rotating this. So it's going to be a cylinder with a varying um, 
a varying uh, cross-sectional area or inner yeah this thickness right there anyways that's all for today hopefully you learned from this video and uh, like always uh, you can download these exact notes in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy